Hey y'all, I'm Moose. Welcome to my art journey. I am so glad you could be here with me today. And I'm so glad that we could be here with you today because the power has been out up until about 15 minutes ago. So <laughs> we scrambled and got everything ready for you and we're just so happy to be here. Happy Easter weekend, everybody. I don't have any bunny ears. I forgot to get bunny ears. I was gonna make some, but didn't have time, and then the power went out, couldn't see what I was doing anyway, so. <laughs> Let's check the chat and see who's here, shall we? I know my moderators, Linda Liche Boutte and Doris from DF Designs and Mona from Art Flow by Mo. Thank you very much, ladies, for being here. I would like to see a big round of applause in the chat for my moderators, because they rock. Yay, love you guys. All right, who else do we see? I see Madonna is here, and I see Lorraine from Pigments for Hue. Jane is here, Rochelle. Tomo's here, hey Tomo. And let's see, who else do we see? Did I say hey to Mel? Mel Firestone, my rock star. And who else? Rochelle, Tomo, Doris, Mel. Mo, I think we've got everybody. Yay! Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to pour on some Easter stuff and we're going to have a good time. Let's look at the show and tell first. Larry's here. Hey, Larry. Hugs to Angie. Yay! Okay. Ah. Uh. All right, first things first, I'm going to show you from our stream last week. Linda Sariani or, 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 or Sophia Loren is here. Hello. This is our freeform pour from last week. I will in just a second. Sure. Look at that. It's so bright and cheerful. I love it. We go to the overhead. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Deirdre's here. Deirdre's here. Hey, Deirdre. I love it too, Tomo. Thank you. It's very, very bright. It's not showing up on my camera. I don't know how it's showing up on YouTube, but it is extremely bright. And I love it. And then we had the airbrushed flower that didn't really dry very well. I always go the wrong way. It creeped out to the edges, even though I didn't spin it that hard. And it just kind of all wiggled and it said, hold my beer is what happened. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Then we had our videos from this week. And oh my goodness, I love this one so much. I can't wait to resin this one. Dun, dun, dun. I'll get it straight in a second. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at all those details. And the shimmer is gorgeous. It's not catching it on camera, but the shimmer's there. So when I resonate, woof, it's going to be a gorgeous one. Love it. Okay. Then we had, that was video number 741. And then this is, I think 742 was the box top for uh, the box that Dub and I are collaborating on. Let me show the forward cam. It's all metallics, so once I get resin on the top, of course, it's going to sparkle. I say that about everything. 
<laughs> but it's so true. But I love the, the kind of heart shapes that we've got right here. And then Dub's going to do some leather work on it. It's going to be gorgeous. Can't wait. Then we had the class from Miss uh, Doris, my Fiona Flowers class. And this is how this one turned out. It dried a little weird around the edges. Kind of broke up a little bit. Not sure what the deal was with that, but it's beautiful. She is a great, great instructor. Love you to death, Doris. Thank you so much. I'm very happy with my um, class and my lesson and my results. Very happy. And then I want to show you this that I did off camera. I was playing around with my base, well, with my color palette for um, this Fiona flower, actually. And uh, so I did a split base on a little 8x8 eight eight just to see which the colors, which of the, which one would look better. So I've got a black side and a white side, and I love both, actually. I think they turned out really well. And to go with that, when I did my um, stress ball kisses, I put my excess paint on another little canvas here. And it turned out really cute. I like it. Okay. That's all for show and tell. So I will put this away and then I will check the chat real quick. See what's going on. Are we having fun? Are we having a good time? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you, Mel. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate you guys. Okay. Gonna put on my gloves. Shall we do struggle cam? Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing struggle cam today. Or maybe not. I'll put on some powder. <laughs> Not that side, the shaker side, not the spooning side. All right. Yeah. Susan's here. Hey, Susan. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Corn starched up my hands. Oh, what is that? What is that? What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. He knows I hate those things. I wondered what he was going to do this week. I never know. Well, sometimes I know, but most of the time I don't know. He does stuff. Y'all get a kick out of it. I'm oblivious. He's over there giggling and laughing. Okay. Now, now that I've got my gloves on, get my hair out of my face, I'm going to pin it back. You, you, you didn't want to see it, Lori. Okay. Let's get to painting, shall we? I am going to paint on this here cute little old rabbit. Look at the adorable. I'm going to do a split cut pour on him. So we'll put him down. And... A clown with huge feet. A clown with huge feet. 
It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it could be his head, huge feet of the clown. There's his little hands, his poofy hair. Or we have a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit pellets. <laughs> yes, you do need glasses, Lorraine. I keep telling you that. Okay. Um, doing a split cut pour. And this is MDF that I've primed with plain white paint. No pouring medium. Tell me in the chat, do you reckon I need a base coat if I'm doing a split cup? Either way works, Mona says. I know you're talking about either the clown or the, the rabbit. Yes, Lorraine says. <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> base coat, yes. Yes, Mel says. All right, I'm going to do a base coat. I got two yeses. Sounds good to me. All right. Oh, all my colors today are mixed with glue and water pouring medium. 60% glue, 40% water. This is the color palette that I used for the Fiona flower class that I took from our sweet Doris and I still have some left so I wanted to use them up and they're all pastel neons so I figured that would be perfect for Easter. I'm just putting a thin coat on here. What does the glue do? The glue acts as a binder, and um, when you do acrylic pouring, you want to make your paints more fluid than they are, so that they, you know, go across the canvas and do the little techniques that you want to do. And then, uh, in order to do that, you have to thin out the paints, and you can do that either with water uh, with a glue and water pouring medium or with Floetrol pouring medium. I normally use Floetrol in my paints, which is just a uh, paint conditioner. So it helps extend the paint and make it more fluid. All right. Thanks for the question, Tomo. Here we go, let me wipe this off. And then I'll torch that. Get rid of all the bubbles. And um, for some reason, the glue and water pouring medium works better for Fiona flowers than a Floetrol pouring medium, or at least that's our experience at this moment. Miss Fiona is coming up with a new, uh, what you call it, recipe. Okay, I have me a split cup here, four chamber split cup. I'm going to set it right here. Hopefully that'll be good enough. And what I'm going to do is take my pearl white and put about halfway up the cup here. Take some extreme sheen, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. Mix it a little bit, pour it from up high. Okay. 
now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add black in my layers of these other three chambers. So I have two blues, a pink and fluorescent orange, neon orange. Y'all can't really see that very well, so I'll just go ahead and pour it in the cup. Okay. So I'm going to add in black in this chamber, in the bottom, and I'm not going to add a whole lot. I just want to kind of get a little bit of black in the bottom to create some definition in the painting. And then I'm going to layer the other two chambers with black a little differently. So there's some black, and on top of that, we're going to put, uh, this is TLP Rave. And this is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Aquamarine. I think I'm going to do the neon yellow and neon green in the next chamber. So I will pour in first the neon green. And then I'm going to put in a layer of black. easier if this had been in a squeeze bottle, but I don't want a whole lot of black anyway. Am I mumbling? Can y'all hear me okay? Okay. Then on top of that, we're going to put some Artist Loft Neon Yellow. pink and orange. Fluorescent pink by Liquitex Basics and neon orange by Artist Loft. And we will start with our fluorescent pink. Pop that off with black. Okay, that looks pretty good. Quit dripping. This side. Okay, fun begins now. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to start on the belly. Give it some turns. Hello. 
Helen's here. Aloha, Helen. Thank you for joining us. And then I'm going to do kind of like ribbon pour on the ears. This is going to look so cool. Haven't really considered how I was going to either tilt or spin or what. <laughs> but let's tilt a little bit. Lots of paint on here. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Okay. I like it. <laughs> okay, I can't set it down there without getting this all over the back. Um, I can't even remember if I taped the back. <laughs> uh -oh. Here, I will give y'all a close-up. Funky, funky, funky Easter rabbit. Pretty. Okay, I'm going to set him over here where he's not in the way. All right. Wow, look at the paint on the can or on the table. Do we want to dip any of that? Yeah. Let's dip a capuchon or two. Uh, possibly, but I am going to capture some on a capuchon. So I have my blue tacky stuff. I have a half dome piece of glass here in a heart shape. And I'm going to put it down right here. Yeah. this cool necklace pendant. Let it dry upside down for a day or two and it's good to go. Um, I think I'm just going to scrape the rest of this up because I'm ready to get to my other painting which is going to be a big egg bun. Let me get a cup. Have me some more custom color. Oh, Susan says another thing that works great for holding your cabbage on is golf tees. Ah! This is a golf tee. That's brilliant. Thank you, Susan. You a smart woman. A lot of gold in this. wonder what color we'll come out with. You think we'll come out with a color or gray? I think it's going to be gray from the way it's looking in the cup. Just that tiny little bit of black that I put in. And I 
got almost five ounces of paint here. All right, let's stir it up and see what we get. A nice sparkling gray. This will make a good background. Okay. Let me clean this up and then we'll put the egg down. I'll look at the chat while I'm doing this. Light brown taupe, neutral. Oh, nice. So, um, I haven't seen the rest of the chat, Susan. Are you um, using tacky putty on the golf tees? Just a touch of it. Just a touch of it? Nice. I like your idea, honey. Almost done with this. Okay. You won't worry about what's on the table. Okay, guys, sippy sippy. Don't be dehydrated. Love cold juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna play with this cute egg. It's about an 11 inch egg there. And I'm not gonna put a base coat down on this one because I am just going to randomly spread the colors down. And then we're gonna play with the marble. Fun! And there's still paint in this split cup. So I'm gonna start with that. some more pearl white. And some extreme sheen aquamarine. P rave neon green y'all got dub giggling. 24 karat gold. Orange, 
using fluorescent pink. Okay. Now we're going to torch the bubbles. Gonna get my marble and we're going to have a play rolling around the marble and mixing the paint as we go. That looks really cool. Okay, there's still a lot of paint on it, so I'm going to spin it. After I get my fingers wiped off. That looks really cool. Okay, where did my marble go? I lost my marble in my, na in my napkin. Okay, spin. That looks really neat. I like it, but I'm not done with it yet. So this is what it's looking like right now. Now I'm going to swipe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have this custom berry here that is actually mixed with Floetrol and has two drops of treadmill silicone in it. It's a really pretty berry color, dark, dark berry. And I'm going to swipe with that, with this. Fun! Right across here. That might be a little wider than I intended. I have other spatulas that I've put away. <laughs> so I have Todd that we could use. That'll work. I'm gonna just go right across this middle part here and see what we get. Yes, this is Todd. This is Ella. And I can't remember what I named this one because I don't use it that often. Probably Hank. All right, here we go. We're going to swipe. One, two, three, go. That looks so cool. I 
I like it. It's my own decorated egg. Let's see. Y'all reckon I should swipe the bottom part too or leave that like it is? Dub says do the bottom. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Tomo. Swipe away, Mona says. Bottom as well, Linda says. Black light that egg. Oh yeah, for sure. These colors are gonna look so cool. Swipe the bottom, swipe it all. Swipe it all? Well, I like this bit up here, this, this nice swirl. Larry is a madman. He's a wise man, but he's a madman. <laughs> no, just the bottom. Okay, full swipe on the bottom. Here we go. We'll swipe, we'll, we'll swipe again, because that's really cool looking. And I think I'll swipe this direction. direction. Make sure I get it on the right side of my spatula. Okay. Here we go. Nice. All right. This is so much fun. What is it? Why don't you share? You just sit over there and giggle. Your egg's been wiped. <laughs> you plead the fifth. <laughs> Do the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Mel. I like it like this. It's very abstract, very weird, and I like weird. It's different, and y'all know I like different. Balloon kiss right there? Okay, I can do that. I got me blown up glove. What do you think? <laughs> do you want more, Dub? <laughs> that was your idea. I've got, I got, I got two more. Oh, well, thank you for the recommendation of the uh, balloon kiss. I like it. It looks good and it's gonna feather out I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna use my skewer. And for those who don't know, this is really cool. So my skewer, dun, 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 the very tip of it has resin on it in a little bitty ball. So it just glides through the paint. Skewer 4000. Oh, I like this better. That's pretty. What do y'all think? It's 
3,000 is so last year. <laughs> what does Moose want? Moose wants to play some more. Okay. So I have two more little things over here that I can play with. We will set this aside. I'll give you a close up. Chubby penguin. Oh, I see him. I don't want to get, I don't want to drip paint, so I'm going to move it. I have to show everybody that after it dries. Oh, those are so pretty. Ooh, look at my table. So colorful. Yay. Um, okay. Wipe off my fingers. And I'm just going to keep playing. How's that sound? You're Mr. Toad's wild ride. Am I seeing that right? Mr. Toad's? It's kind of blurry today. My eyes are not wanting to focus today. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about what's on the spinner. I'm just going to go ahead and plop this down. Oops, I just smacked this camera. So this is a uh, oval from the dollar store. I think all of this is from the dollar store. The rabbit and the egg, definitely from the dollar store. I think these two were from the dollar store as well. So the dollar twenty-five store. So let's do a black one with a black background. And these neon colors. These are uh, wood and I prime them with just plain white paint. This is, uh, what black is this? I think this is Artist Loft Black. And no, this is um, Amsterdam Black actually. So I think I'm out of my Artist Loft Black. Um, everything's mixed with the glue and water pouring medium today because this is my leftover palette from when I did my class with Doris. Come on, go over the edge. I'll paint the edges. All right, what shall we do on this? What do y'all reckon? <laughs> what do y'all reckon I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna swirl on paint. Yeah, you bet right. You win that bet. Because why not, right? If I put the pink and the blue together, maybe I'll get purple. Can't believe I didn't put a purple in this color palette. But I'm getting purple. I mean, you can see there's purple in the runoff. Yeah, 
Uh, don't know if spraying Floetrol on it would make cells. Spraying silicone on it definitely makes cells. Um, Floetrol generally helps sell up as uh, when it's used as a pouring medium. I don't know the true answer to that, Mr. Gatto. Okay, and do I want to sell it? How about an iridescent cell activator? So this is just um, an iridescent medium that I mixed with Australian Floetrol, and it works. And it's pretty. This has got kind of a nebula look to it. Because the cell activator is not selling, it may lie out of me, but it's really pretty. It looks like Aurora. Oh. I don't know if I want to spin that or not. Uh, well, moon kiss it. Balloon kiss it, not moon kiss it. Skewer it. stress ball kiss in the middle. Just a little smooch. Cool. Oh, that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let me lift this up so y'all can see it. This dries well. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Loverly. I like that. Um, I don't have any place to put this. So I'm going to leave it right here for the moment while I wipe off my fingers. And uh, it's about 10 minutes till Doris, so I'm going to let you guys go so you can do a safety meeting or a bathroom break or, you know, grab you some more sippy sippy. And then we'll congregate back over at Doris's. Uh, I did not hit the redirect. Sorry, Doris, I didn't do the redirect because it was like 15 minutes till stream time and I forgot. So, Doris, make sure you put your link in. Yep, there it is. So Doris's link is up. Let's everybody head on over there and continue the Easter party over there and have, uh, have some good times in the chat and watching Doris do some beautiful, beautiful paintings. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I do appreciate it. Mwah, mwah. Love you all. Sorry, but we don't have any 
pre pre preview <laughs> for uh, the upcoming stuff uh, we just scrambled you know to get on so yeah whatever <laughs> we'll have it next time I hope <laughs> if I can get caught up <laughs> ah, I need to I need to I need to end okay Mwah, 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 mwah. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Have an absolutely lovely, lovely day. And until we meet again, enjoy your journey. Bye, y'all.